Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is shock. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and uh, share these videos on this channel uh, to support it. And uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know? And uh, if you wish to subscribe this channel, uh, you can s click the uh, red subscribe button, which is just below this video, you know. And uh, once you click that button, you will see a uh, bell icon. So don't forget to click that one. So you will be notified whenever I upload the new video, you know. Now we come to the shock. Uh, what is shock? You know? You know? Uh, your body uh, enters to shock when you don't have enough blood circulation uh, through your system to keep your uh, organs and the tissues functioning properly you know and uh, it can be caused by uh, any injury or any condition that affects the blood flow okay and uh, the shock can cause this multiple organ failure and can lead to life-threatening complications you know and there are many types of shock and uh, but there are four major types which are based on uh, uh, what has been affected you know and uh, the major types of uh, shock include like obstructive shock uh, cardiogenic shock uh, distributive shock and uh, hypovolemic shock so these are the four major types of the shocks you know and uh, the all forms of the shock are life-threatening and if you develop the symptoms of shock you should get medical attention uh, right away you know so don't waste the time if you or anyone around you uh, is uh, uh, having the symptoms like uh, uh, rapid weak and uh, uh, absent pulse you know which is one one sign you know and there are multiple signs like uh, uh, irregular heartbeat it may be rapid shallow breathing uh, lightheadedness or uh, uh, like uh, cool uh, cool skin you know chest pain nausea vomiting anxiety confusion a decrease in urine you know uh, thirst and dry mouth low blood sugar and loss of consciousness you know so these are the signs and the symptoms of the shock and if anyone around you is suffering from these symptoms i should call the emergency services straight away uh, you know the next thing is what are the causes of shock you know anything uh, which uh, affects the flow of blood through your body can cause the shock and uh, they may include like uh, uh, severe allergic reactions it may cause heart failure or it may be due to uh, septicemia or the uh, like blood infections you know uh, dehydration poisoning burns and uh, maybe the significant blood loss due to any trauma or accidents you know so these are the major causes of the shock and uh, as i said there are four major types of the shock you know so i will uh, uh, briefly explain them what are they you know so i will start with the obstructive shock you know you know obstructive shock occurs when blood cannot get where it uh, uh, needs to go you know and the pulmonary embolism is the one condition that can cause the interruption the blood flow okay so the conditions that can cause a build up of uh, air or build uh, uh, of the fluid in the chest cavity can lead to the obstructive shock and they may include like uh, collapsed lungs you know or pneumothorax you know or hemothorax which means uh, uh, when the blood collects in the space between the chest wall and the lungs you know okay and uh, cardiac uh, uh, like um, tamponade so cardiac tamponade mean when the blood or the fluids fill in the space between the sac that uh, surrounds the heart 
and the heart muscles you know so that's known as chordic uh, tamponade okay so there was obstructive shock you know the next one is cardiogenic shock so in case of cardiogenic shock, uh, shock the damage to the heart can decrease the blood flow to your body you know which lead to the cardiogenic shock you know and the common causes are like damage to the heart muscles or maybe irregular heart rhythm you know and maybe very slow heart rhythm you know so these are the main causes of cardiogenic shock the other one is the third one is distributive shock so which means that the conditions that cause the blood vessels to lose their uh, tone it can cause the distributive shock and when your blood vessels lose their tone uh, they can become so open or floppy you know that uh, not enough blood pressure uh, uh, supplies your there's not enough pressure that can supply the blood to your organs you know where it's needed you know and the distributive shock uh, can result from the symptoms including uh, uh, the main symptoms of this shock include like uh, uh, flushing uh, low blood pressure and loss of consciousness you know and uh, Anaphylactic shock is a type of uh, a distributive shock and it's a complication of the severe allergic reaction, you know, known as anaphylaxis. Okay, so allergic reactions occur when your blood, uh, your body mistakenly uh, treats the harmless substances as harmful. Okay, and uh, this triggers a dangerous immune response, you know, and uh, it can, uh, it's usually caused by allergic reactions to food or maybe uh, insect bite or maybe medications or maybe latex, you know. And uh, the septic shock is also a form of uh, this distributive shock. It's a subtype of distributive shock, you know. And uh, sepsis, also known as the blood poisoning or septicemia, you know. Uh, is a condition which is caused by the infections that lead to lead uh, to the uh, bacteria entering to your bloodstream and maybe uh, uh, and uh, you know the bacteria and the toxins that cause the serious damage to the tissues and the organs of the body and the brain maybe you know so it's uh, uh, this uh, septic shock is very dangerous it's life threatening you know and the fourth one is uh, hypovolemic shock the hypovolemic shock is caused by uh, when there is not enough blood in your blood vessels to carry the oxygen uh, to your organs you know and this can be caused by the severe blood loss maybe from the injuries or motor accidents or you know any injury you know and uh, the blood delivers oxygen and the vital vitamins to your organs or nutrient nutrients in fact to your organs you know and if you lose too much blood, your organs cannot uh, function properly due to the lack of oxygen and other nutrients, you know, which are required, you know. And this type of shock can also happen from dehydration as well, you know. There's a serious uh, imbalance of electrolytes happen, you know. And the first uh, response, uh, like uh, emergency services, you know, they often recognize the shock by its external symptoms you know and the external symptoms are like low blood pressure weak pulse and rapid heartbeat okay so the emergency staff will check these uh, things you know and uh, once they have diagnosed shock uh, their first priority is to provide life-saving treatment to get the blood pressure to blood circulating to your blood uh, to your body you know as quickly as possible to restore the blood supply and this can be done by giving fluids by giving drugs and uh, blood products and the supportive care you know. and it will resolve unless you can uh, it will not resolve unless you can find and treat the cause you know. so it's a really is a is a serious emergency situation you know and once you are stable and then your doctor may try to diagnose the cause of shock you know and to do so, they may undergo multiple tests, you know, and imaging tests and blood tests, you know. And uh, your doctor may order imaging tests like uh, MRI or CT scan or X-rays, you know, to find if there is any evidence of uh, 
to find the root cause of that shock, you know, it may be bone fractures or organ ruptures, you know, or maybe abnormal growths inside the body or maybe muscle or tendon tears, you know. And uh, these tests may include uh, x-rays, CT scan, MRI, uh, uh, etc., you know. And the blood tests may include like, uh, uh, your doctor will advise the blood tests uh, if there are signs of like significant blood loss, you know, or there's uh, infection in the blood, you know, and uh, and the drugs are the medication overdose, you know. So you will get a clue from the blood tests, you know. And uh, as I said earlier, the uh, the treatment starts at the as soon as the emergency staff arrives, you know. And they will find the pulse and the blood pressure and the, all that stuff, you know. And uh, they will start the immediate treatment just to restore the blood supply as soon as possible to avoid any further damage, you know, to the organs or the. Uh, multiple organ failures, you know, and uh, if you suspect someone has uh, gone into shock, you know, call the emergency services straight away. And after that, uh, uh, if uh, the person is unconscious, you know, uh, uh, check to see if they are still breathing and uh, uh, have the heartbeat, you know. And if you don't detect the breathing or the heartbeat, begin the CPR, you know. And uh, if they are breathing, uh, let them down on their back, okay. And uh, elevate their feet uh, about 12 inches uh, high, you know, uh, to their vital organs, okay, which are the most uh, needed, you know, uh, to uh, restore, the, to send the blood to the vital organs, you know. And cover them with a blanket or the extra clothing to help keep them warm and check uh, their breathing and uh, heart rate regularly for the changes you know and if you suspect that they have uh, injured their head or maybe neck or maybe back uh, in that case avoid moving them don't move them so this way if you move them uh, you you may cause the further damage to their spinal cord or any internal organ you know? so don't move them you know okay and uh, apply the first aid uh, to any visible wounds. If you suspect they are experiencing an uh, allergic reaction, ask them if they have uh, like uh, epinephrine or to inject with them, you know. So just use those injections, you know. And uh, uh, if they begin to vomit, uh, turn them uh, uh, the head sideways, you know. So just to uh, uh, avoid any kind of uh, uh, that uh, that vomit stuff goes to their lungs, you know, so it can cause the uh, lung collapse, you know, or ch avoid the choking, you know. And if you suspect that they are injured, uh, their back, avoid turning them. Instead, stabilize their neck, you know, or uh, roll their entire body to the one side. Okay, and. Uh, your doctor treatment plan for the shock will depend on the cause of your condition, you know. And the different types of the shock were treated differently, you know. And uh, they may include like uh, epinephrine or other drugs in case of uh, anaphylactic shock, you know. And medications for the heart, or the heart surgery and uh, maybe other interventions to treat the cardiogenic uh, shock, you know. Or maybe antibiotics to treat the septic shock, you know. Or maybe blood transfusion uh, in case of hypovolemic. Uh, a shock you know uh, it's possible uh, to fully recover from the shock but uh, if it's not treated quickly enough it can lead to the permanent organ damage or multiple organ failure you know or even death you know and uh, it's critical to call emergency services straight away uh, if you think that anyone around you is having the septic shock thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you goodbye